Hello friends, today we will discuss what is free water clearance and how diuretics affect it. Free water clearance can be defined as the volume of water that is excreted in urine per unit time in excess of that is required to excrete the solutes isoosmotically. In short, the volume of water only which is excreted without solutes in urine. Yani ki bina solutes ka water jitna bhi urine mein excrete hota hai usko bolte hai free water clearance. And this volume depends on corticomedullary osmotic gradient. Yani ki jis area mein osmotic gradient zyada hoga hyper osmolar site hoga wahan pe water khincha jala jayega. So we can say that free water clearance is zero if there is isotonic urine. Positive free water clearance when diluted urine is passed and negative free water clearance when concentrated urine is passed. Note that kisi bhi fluid ki osmolarity usme present ions ke concentration pe depend karti hai. To solutes ki concentration agar equal ho to isotonic solution agar solutes ki concentration kam ho to hypotonic solution aur agar solutes ki concentration zyada ho to hypertonic solution kehte hain this means diluted urine is hypotonic while concentrated urine is hypertonic suppose this is a nephron we will divide it into cortical part and medullary part. Okay, now we will see the normal physiology of water clearance. So from proximal tubules, the majority of solutes and water are reabsorbed. And the osmolarity in the lumen is about 300 milliosmol per liter that is similar to plasma. So even if the fluid volume inside the lumen after reabsorption is less, it is isotonic. Now from the loop of fennel, water can be reabsorbed freely but not the solutes. So as we move towards medulla, the fluid inside the loop of fennel will become more and more hypertonic and the maximum is 1200 milliosmol per liter. But in thick ascending limb of lupofenyl, about 25% of solutes are reabsorbed. And this is responsible for hyperosmolar medulla at this site. While water cannot be reabsorbed, it remains inside the lumen of thick ascending limb. And now fluid becomes hypotonic. And that is why this segment of nephron is known as diluting segment. Again from early distal tubules, about 8 to 10 percent of solutes are reabsorbed, but not the water. And the fluid inside the lumen will still remain diluted. So this volume of water present inside the lumen of these two sites, thick ascending limb of lupofenyl and early distal tubules, is called as free water clearance because it is going to be excreted and we can say it positive free water clearance as the fluid is diluted. Now again in the collecting ducts in presence of antidiuretic hormone water can be freely reabsorbed to counteract the hyperosmolarity of medulla and again fluid inside the lumen of collecting ducts become more and more hypertonic towards medulla. So we can say that free water clearance at this site is negative as the fluid is concentrated. Now amongst diuretic drugs, thiazide diuretics act on early distal tubules to inhibit sodium chloride reabsorption. So more concentration of solutes will be present inside the lumen and positive free water clearance will be decreased but there is no effect on negative free water clearance. 
while loop diuretics which act on thick ascending limb of lupofenol and inhibit solutes reabsorption so they also decrease positive free water clearance but in case of loop diuretics the hyperosmolarity of medulla will also be decreased and thereby less water will be reabsorbed from collecting ducts so negative free water clearance will also be decreased in case of loop diuretics thus thiazide diuretics decrease only positive free water clearance while loop diuretics decrease both positive as well as negative free water clearance now is there any other group of drug which can also reduce negative free water clearance so answer is aquaretics like vaptans which are vasopressin v2 receptor blockers so they will inhibit water reabsorption from collecting ducts and hence decrease negative free water clearance or simply increase free water clearance so in summary normally there are two sides of positive free water clearance in nephron including thick ascending limb of lupofenol as well as early distal tubules while one negative free water clearance site that is collecting duct in presence of anti diuretic hormone thiazide diuretics decrease only positive free water clearance while loop diuretics decrease both positive as well as negative free water clearance